what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, I got a fun video for you today. We are going to be reacting to Family Guy's most offensive moments. Now, Family Guy is a show that I haven't seen in years, but it, it was like part of my childhood. It was a very good moment in my childhood. So Family Guy will always hold a special place in my heart, but today it's all about offending people. You get a free pass to laugh at offensive shit and it's uncancelable. Let's hope. This is awesome. Now that we're rich, our lives are gonna be so much better. You sure it was such a good idea to cash that lottery check? It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah! All right. Yeah, money! <laughs> Woo! All right, time to make all those popular kids pay for ignoring me. Jesus Peter, Christ. No, you're just a normal high school kid. Oh. Hey, Lance, it, it, it's off, it's off, it's off, it's off. <laughs> Throw this phone away, Lois. All right, men, this is Harry the homosexual. Say hi to everyone, Harry. Hi, fellas. I sure do love being gay. Harry's choice of lifestyle is wrong, so we're going to beat him oh, up for God. it. Now, oh, God. Now, take these baseball bats and get to it. <gasps> oh. All right, good so far. No, 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 don't use the bats like that. No, no, don't use them like that either. Oh, right, God. Look, just put them down and use your fists. But, no, 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 not like that. Oh, God. Hey, Lois, I'd like what you to meet our new thing. friend. We're going to beat the gay out of that boy. What? You guys know stupid. each other? Stupid. Know each other? Peter Jerome is an old boyfriend of mine. What? Oh, sorry I was out of it. Wait, are we being robbed? <laughs> <laughs> It's so messed up. They're so out of left field and so offensive. You look beautiful. Uh, and he's a handsome fella, ain't he? Well, I am ready for my evening. Oh, my God, Peter. What the hell? Peter, what are you doing? Oh, surely, Jerome, you don't want to stay in the same house as a ghost who carries a torch around. Ooh, fire ghost. Ooh, you scared yet? Didn't know this place was haunted, did you? Hospital. Don't worry, Brian, I'll save you. <laughs> I'm good in a crisis. After all, I used to work the suicide hotline. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while, and I just, I can't <laughs> Who gave Peter like this, this job? <laughs> I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her? Peter, if you're that hungry, go down to the dock and find Daddy, and we'll get dinner started. You're not going to get dinner started. She's going to tell that sloppy old Spanish maid to do it. And she will, but only because she needs money to pay for medicine for her prematurely overweight son, Diabito. Oh, Mama, geez. may I have cookies? <laughs> no, Diabito. Roll back to kitchen. Oh. Jeez, look at those two. They're going at each other like an Italian guy and a black woman. Hey, you can't park here. Excuse me? Having been officially challenged by her natural enemy, the black female prepares for combat this by taking off the many dude. Wing. I used to watch the show every night. Sensing the impending battle, a flock of Jews Jew, flies flock quickly of away, <laughs> as avoiding confrontation is their best chance for survival. Hi, Dad. It's crazy. Like JFK deciding to cruise through Dallas in a rental. How'd that convertible work out for you? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Good. Okay. And did you get all your stuff out of the car? Kind of. Now, did you get a look at the man Jesus. who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get a description? Yeah, he was probably around 5'9", five 5'10". Five Which is it, 5'9", five or 5'10"? Five I'd say 5'10". Okay, we'll go 5'9 and a half. And now, how old was he? Late 30s, maybe 37. I, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah, he was Asian American. Asian American. Are we talking Korean? Are we talking Thai? Are we talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any any marks, piercings? He may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? Why are they selling all those DVDs so cheap? Because, Chris, DVDs are outdated and obsolete, like white tracks guys. On your marks? Hey! Get set. <laughs> white guys, go! Oh I God. have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! Hey, we shared a pack of power goo. I thought they were coming after us. So I hired a math tutor oh and a driver's ed guy. Okay, so do you use my car, or do you have, like, a special one you brought? Um, I'm the math tutor. Really? No way! <laughs> so that means you're the... Driver's ed instructor, yes. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. <laughs> All right! Time to learn math from a black guy, I guess. <sighs> okay. Oh my god, they're even taking down a mosquito netting. 
Oh my God. Bush, bush, bush. <laughs> this is a 1950s <laughs> insane asylum. They use old mattresses to pad the walls of the cells. May I help you? Yes, 1950s doctor. Me and my friends are looking for- Your friends with a Negro and a cripple? This man is insane. Take him away. What? <laughs> Oh my now, God! Wait a second, you can't do that to a him. Negro speaking up to a white person. This man is insane. <laughs> now look, I don't think all cripples are insane. Euthanize oh this man. God. Euthanize him. Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brainless women in there? You let people have sex with for a few okay. bucks? Sure, come on back. Come on, Dan. Let's get a drink. Ha, it's great to see you back in your element tonight, surrounded by semen. <laughs> Seaman. See, Quagmire, I told you he's gay. <laughs> Shut up, Peter. Hey, you Dan's boy? That's right. Your dad was very brave back in Southeast Asia. He flew supplies in where others wouldn't dare to go. I can't tell you how many loads your dad took when I served with him. Huh? Glenn, I wouldn't miss this night for the world. Everyone here admires your dad. He'd walk into an army barracks and make every private there feel important. Yeah, he just knew how to stroke those privates. Oh, God. Your dad was cock of the walk, Glenn. Every day at rifle what? training, he'd help me clean my butt. Your dad once drank me under the table. If there was one man what? you wanted in your hole, it was your dad. Your dad had what? the first penis in the military. Okay, just stop! Stop! Everybody stop! I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so interesting, dude, because there's, like, a lot to unpack there in the sense of... I mean, not really. They're fucking jokes. You're allowed to laugh at jokes, but at the same time, it's- I feel like if you laugh at certain things nowadays, everybody labels you the most egregious thing that they can. <laughs> it's either like you laugh at everything or nothing. I, I don't- I don't know. I think Family Guy is absolutely hilarious. I think that it takes the power out of people's hands because it's like, we all have the power to make certain words have weight, make certain jokes have weight. At the end of the day, it's all lightheartedness. It's all in jest, you know what I'm saying? So that was honestly like a blast of the past from my childhood. My God. Probably shouldn't have been watching that show as a kid. Anyway, guys, drop some comments down below. Let me know your favorite clip. What made you laugh the most? What absolutely obliterated you from the inside? Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. It's motherfucking fact. Oh yeah, peace. Don't